Just over a year ago, and for 10 years before that, this was pretty much me. An electrician working from day to day, paycheck to paycheck. Man, life was good. I'm not complaining at all, but I was never content. I was always this crazy big dreamer. I had bigger things in mind. And because of you guys, well, my dreams there and they started coming true. Man, they really started coming true. Back then it was a pretty different story. I had a ski, but it hardly worked. My boat had no motor because it was seized. I drove around this busted ass car that was held together literally by cable tires and duct tape. Before YouTube took off for me, before the boats, the bikes, the buggies, the sea -dos, the sponsorships, the views, all that stuff, before I worked my ass off to buy Mossland, something happened to me which made me realize materialistic shit doesn't mean anything. Friends, family, and believe it or not, you guys help me through a story that I'm gonna tell you that I've never told before. <laughs> so what ignited this whole YouTube story for me was a couple of years ago I become really sick. My lungs got infected, they collapsed, they stopped working, I stopped breathing. And for a bit there, there was a chance that I wasn't going to live. Come back tomorrow. You know it's not enough that I can make you laugh. Why try to borrow? Once I started recovering, the doctors told me that I might never be able to dive again. My girlfriend at the time left me and I just felt like, you know, my world was over. Having ADHD, not being able to do anything, I couldn't work, I couldn't go out in the ocean, I was like just a caged animal. I was on antidepressants, I was getting counselling. I just didn't really want to be around at this time. And then I just decided that I'm going to grab my GoPro and I'm going to go make a YouTube video. Just going to do what I used to do when I was a grommet. Just going to enjoy the ocean and film something. I filmed a mud crab catch and cook. And I was so nervous to put it out to you guys. From then on, the positivity, the support, the YBS fam gave me, literally turned my life around. It gave me life again, I guess. I started loving the stuff that I used to love. None of you guys know this. You just see what you see. You guys helped me so much. So... This is more than two million. This is more than numbers. This is more than toys. This is more than everything for me personally. This is my friends, my family, and the YBS family out there that helped me get through something that was... <sighs> These guys have helped me so much in all aspects of my life. I can't thank you guys enough. My friends and family and everyone else who's involved, the sponsors, every person out there that has some positive influence in my life, I have to thank you guys. It means more, two million subscribers mean more than me the numbers and anything else that it comes with. Basically a big family, I know it's cliche, but you guys literally have my back. I feel like you guys have my back. You've helped me more than you know. I don't know where I'm going with this right now. I just really wanted to say thank you tell you one thing I'm getting myself out of these horrible work clothes put my boardies back on me and Strata gonna drop the ski in do what we do and uh, I guess the whole moral of the story is be kind you don't know what people are going through I know that other people go through crazy stuff compared to me I'm not saying that I'm not trying to get any sympathy. I'm just telling you guys my story, what you guys mean to me. Help each other out, be kind. Life's crazy, it's beautiful, it's awesome, it's scary, it's sad, it's everything. And I'm bringing you guys with me. I'll see you at three million, and I'll see you in a couple days for another episode. Phew! <laughs> Strider, what are you doing? Come here! What do you want to do? You want to go on the jet ski? Let's go!